Today I'm making green fried plantains. They call these tostones or patacones. At first I just cut it across here into little segments. Now, the bigger you make these segments, of course, the bigger the final product is going to be. So I'm going to just cut it into small rings like this. There we go. That's good. It doesn't have to be exact either. And then we're going to give these one go in the fryer to begin to cook them. The first go, oh, right away. Did you see that? <laughs> he tried to get away from me. We're going to fry them first in a lower heat to actually cook the plantain through. Later on, it'll come off. It's like an oil blanching, just like when you make french fries. So it's a low heat, it cooks it through, and then we're going to press them, and then we're going to refry them and get in hot oil to give them a nice crunch. So I fried a few here first now. As, I don't know if you can see them here. They've just been fried in the same little rings that we made here. Now the next step to this, of course, now this here is called a tostonera. And what it is, is two pieces of plastic that have a little hinge. You place the green plantain in the middle, and you close it, and you mash it. And when it comes off, now should you not have one of these great little devices, it doesn't matter. You can take the same plantain, put it on a cutting board, use any flat surface, a glass will do fine, you know, be careful, mind you. But you're not applying crazy pressure. These are cooked through, so they become very flat. You see this? And as they get finished, we're frying them a second time in a hot oil. And you see them coming off here? See how they're beautiful here? I'm going to take them out here, and I'm going to throw them in a with a paper towel. Like with any fried food, it is good to put a little salt on them now. And they're ready to eat. Yummy! These tostones are great to eat just like this. And you have toppings like guacamole, maybe you want a chipotle salsa or a, a salsa fresca. Eaten like this is perfect. Or if you want to make it a little fancier, you can go ahead and put a little bit on each one, depending on which salsa you want. And you can make a small plate of hors d'oeuvres. So, you just take them, put a little topping. Now I'm going to make another one here with, I'm always putting the guacamole on it because I love the guacamole and it makes a great hors d'oeuvres. Now I'm going to do this one with a couple pieces of the salsa fresca. Go ahead and make another one of these. Put a little bit of guacamole and then I'm going to put a little bit of salsa fresca right on top, just like this. Now, if you want to decorate this, you can always take a little piece of chai or any other herb you have. Place it like this. Place it like this. There we go. Perfect. And there you have. There we go. Didn't like that one. And there you would have a beautiful little plate of hors d'oeuvres. Thank you for tuning in. Hendrik, wishing you bon appetit. And I'm going to enjoy this one now myself. <laughs>